Okay, so when the machine switches on, initially you have this screen displayed. If it's in another language, obviously it'll be in another language, but we'll run for it in English. So the first thing you're going to do is switch the machine on. At the moment we have it in time delay mode. Modes are manual mode, fully automatic mode, and time delay mode. And there are two modes that you're interested in. Manual mode, where when the button is pressed once, it will dispense one lot of liquid. Or time delay mode, where a time delay is between each uh, liquid being dispensed. So we can set the time in seconds to say 1.1 seconds. Or if we want to be quicker, 0.6 seconds. With a batch counter, which has done 9,828 cycles. So we can set that back to zero, and as we do a cycle, it will go up. So at the moment we've got it in time delay mode. So the machine, when we press the start fill button, the machine will do one cycle, stop for 0.6 seconds. We can alter that and make that 1.5 seconds if we wanted. So you hear the gap. The the time delay is for the time between you want to change the bottles over. So if you're a faster person at changing them over, then you can increase the time delay. And then we have the fill speed and the fill count. So to stop the cycle, press stop cycle. If we're in manual mode, you see the time delay box disappears. Because this will only do one cycle. And then stop. Here we have a prime button which when pressed and held runs the pump and then we have a continuous which runs the pump and then we have to press it again to stop the pump. If we move to the setting screen, slightly different, we have start fill cycle which is the same as on the front screen. So start fill cycle does the same as start fill cycle and we have obviously here profile fill in but at the moment if we want to set no profile fill in we have the start speed as 1 count point 0 and change that to 1 change that to 0 so what we're looking at if you imagine these numbers aren't figuring in, in our profile film. If you look here, this number here is a total fill count, or the total number of times the pump rotates, which means equals a number, a number of amount of liquid dispensed and the speed of the pump. So we can turn the pump speed up, say 700, 600, 590, or 456, and that go up to I think 1,500. And this is the amount of liquid we want dispensing, so it might be a fill of 8,123 equals a certain number of millilitres. If you go back to the setting mode, you can see those two figures change. We use these figures for profile filling, where we can start at, say, a low speed of 400, and then count to a certain point, say, 1,000. So let's do it now. So we would start at 400 RPM and count 120. Uh, 1,203 pulses. Oh. Again, that's not count point speed. Let's take it from there. Let's change it to 6. Oh. 6, 2, 0, 0. Oh, oh so that's sorry, that's speed. I'm changing the wrong thing here. Count point, count point. Right, speed. Let's set the speeds first. So, say 800. 400, 600, 800, and the count point we've got the top count point is 8123. So this might be 6521. It always has to be a lesser number, and this might be 1023. So it's going to go 400 RPM and count 1023 pulses, and then at that point, 
It's then going to change the speed to 600 RPM and count up to 6,521. And then at that point it's going to go to 800 RPM and, and count up to 8,123. So these points are like stages in the fill slope. So the total count is 8,123, but we start off slow to that point and then we go quick. But I would suggest that you just leave that at just a normal, that's the speed and it counts to that. Okay, so if we save that as default, save, that's correct, it saves the name default, then we load, default, load, that's it. So if for example we wanted to change product and change it to a different account, and we worked out how it best feels and say it was that figure and it best fits, the speed is best on say that after some uh, testing we will then save the product and might call it a different name there's a little square here that allows you to move the screen sometimes the buttons are underneath so you have a little square where you can drag that so we might call this one 10 ml space and let's say V a B E 10 mil volt and you press save. At the moment it's on default because it doesn't it saved that program. So if you want to load that program, we go back and then we load. So that's 1600. And if we want to load the other program, the default program, change it back. So that means we can have in here or recipes of different different vape flavors, different fill volumes, etc. We don't like that one. Default and say well, let's make up a let's make up a new one. Let's just save that as um, a bit. So that's it. And then load that one. So that's just a, a random name. So that we want to delete that. We go delete, select that, delete. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes. And then it's already loading the system, so it's loaded in the system. So when you go back to the load page, it's disappeared. So then we could load that again. 